All right, everybody. In today's video, we are going to be repairing this flawless little fridge, makeup fridge, I guess. So I was told the issue with this one is that it's not working and the light flashes green. So I'm gonna plug it in and test it. Indeed, the light flashes green and I noticed that the fan is not spinning at all. So let's go ahead and power this thing down and get it over to the bench. All right, so I went ahead and I removed the six exterior screws. And oh my gosh, this thing is disgusting. Probably part of the problem. Overheating, early failure of components. Oh yeah, this thing's just, is pretty gross. So I'm gonna start taking it apart now. Uh, I got tweezers to get under this thing. There's some Phillip heads under there. That was the fan. It's pretty gross. So yeah, I went ahead and I cleaned it up just a little bit, just so I can work and not worry about breathing in or dealing with all that falling stuff. Took a couple pictures for documentation's sake. Uh, the power supply board here I see has a little overheat mark and those two green electrolytic capacitors have a little bulge. This is the fan connector on the switchboard. I'm, uh, I marked it, even though that can only go in one way. I just it out of habit. So I'm gonna measure the fan connector to see if I'm getting my 12 volts, and I am only getting about two and a half volts. So right now I'm just kind of looking at the power supply board, trying to understand it. So I see it's the AC side, it's the DC side. So these two wires right here are output from our power supply board going to the switchboard. So I'm gonna measure real quick the switchboard the input and I'm getting like a hundred millivolts. So right now I'm thinking, okay, it's probably like the DC area. So right now I'm gonna be measuring the output of the power supply board. And I'm getting nothing. All right, before I say it's bad, I went ahead and I plugged the fan back in. And similar results. I mean, I'm getting like 100 millivolts, but yeah, like no output. So we're working backwards now. Um, this was easy to check real quick. It's a thermistor right by the AC input. Power's off right now. This is a NTC 8D-9. And I saw that heat mark. So with power off my meter on ohms, I just measured across there and I got my eight ohms. So that component's okay. So Right now I'm leaning towards an electrolytic capacitor because I've tested a few other things and uh, it all seems good. And the green electrolytic capacitors are bulging a little bit still, um, but I am a little concerned about this little one also. I don't want to just rule it out. And I do have a replacement for that little one, so. 
I'm going to be checking out these three electrolytic capacitors. In my mind, it just makes sense. And since I have the little one, I'm going to start with that one. So let's go ahead and pop it out. I just desoldered it. This one here is a 10 microfarad, 50 volt. My meter is uh, set to measure capacitance. And it's testing at mm, 9.4 microfarads. So I don't think that's a culprit. It tested pretty good. But since I had a replacement, I'll go ahead and put in a replacement anyways, right? Because I already took it out. Um, but these ones, since the beginning, I've been a little on edge of because they are bulging. So I'm going to go ahead and drop these ones out so I can test them. Okay, now that they're desoldered, let's go ahead and measure their capacitance. These are 1000 microfarad, 25 volt electrolytics. First one here measures at 100 microfarads which is nowhere near 1,000. Um, yeah, that might be our problem. Let's go ahead and test our second. Again, these were bulging, so... And this other one measures at 4, 400 microfarads. Again, nowhere near 1,000. And it's weird that these two are giving me two completely different results. So I'm going to go ahead and order these. I'm thinking these are suspects, so... All right, so we got the new caps here. 40 cents each is what they came out to be. I'm just measuring the old with the new. Same length, same diameter, 1,000 microfarad, 25 volts. Temperatures are the same. Uh, In case you don't know with electrolytics, the strip is the negative and that will line up with the shaded part on this board. But before I install them, I'm gonna go ahead and measure them. These are our new ones again. And 1000, 1060, 1070 microfarads, so that one's good. Let's go ahead and measure our second one. And yeah, 970 microfarads, so we're good there. These are 20% tolerance, so good there. And let's go ahead and throw it on, and it is green. 
I can hear the fan spinning. This is awesome. 80 cent fix, guys. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and shut this down and clean it up. All right. Much better. So much better. Got the fan, too. If you want to take the fan out to clean it up, there's only two screws. Right there and right here. And then we got the mounting screws for the power supply board. Then I just screw the switchboard back on and slap the black sticker back on it. And then after I put the exterior screws back in, I'm just gonna turn it on one last time, make sure it's still working. Fan spinning. Oh, awesome. We did it, guys.